Hello, my friend, and welcome. This is your moment. I'm Katarina Miletic, and you are listening to the podcast that will challenge you to think with your soul and believe that your only power is inside you. Hello! Agat, hello! (laughs) Hello and welcome! Yes, thank you, thank you! I love everything about you. I love the way love the way you present yourself i love the way that you are approachable that's wonderful i'm so happy i'm thrilled to be here you know there is a saying in vancouver because it does rain like we don't shovel the snow in the winter so it does rain so it says when it's sunny whatever it is that you're doing if you can put it on hold do that and go out (laughs) (laughs) excellent I think there is unwritten rule here in London as well, because I don't know if you've been here, but it rains a lot. And yes, we are notorious for that. Yeah. So (laughs) when when it's sunny, sometimes I even go two times for a walk during the day because you just feel you want to seize the moment and you want to be outside. Agat, if you would share with me a little bit of your story. First time I heard your story, when Dean Graziosi called you in that uh, on that live call, I was one of the participants there, and you captivated me with your story. Um, I found it so moving and so genuine, your wish to help other people to go on the same path that you have been. So if we perhaps start with the sharing your story, if you will, with us. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so it's it all started for me to, to go and be very painful 18 years ago with the arthritis, like you can see my hands. Um, my birth mother had arthritis and psoriasis. Mm-hmm. So what happens in most people's mind is, oh, well, it's in the family. I'm stuck. Mm. So, you know, I did the usual cut out the red meat, um, you know, was careful to not to drink too much wine, things that you go, if you do too much of this, you're going to feel the pain. And I felt the pain. I knew right away I would feel more pain. But then with time, it it started to to be that I could not use my fingers anymore. Mm -hmm. Like I I lost the strength in my hands. And uh, like literally, I could not lift or grip or grab anything and everything it would just fall off my hands mm-hmm. it was crazy I sewed I started to sew I was 12 years old I'm 45 years old I'm sewing I want to pull a thread out of a because I'm on sewing I can't it's it slips between my finger mm. so it's it's it, it what it does it, when it happens like this rheumatoid rheumatoid arthritis it it makes you weak right and and but then you know your brain is still there it says do that what are you doing you're not doing it what's going on and then i had three children that mm-hmm. were uh you know when i start that i when i started 9 11 and 14 so that was i was in my 50s but back then they were younger and then i had a hard time to care for them and i had to ask for everything my husband at the time was traveling a lot mm-hmm. uh thank god my older daughter <laughs> my oldest child my daughter would help But it's just not what you have an image of a mother to be. Mm -hmm. And um, and and then I I, I did, you know, think of everything possible, how I could help and find ways to, you know, be able to continue what I was doing. So Mm -hmm. I was pulling thread when I was sewing. I use a pair of pliers in my whole hands to pull the thread because now now my whole hands was working at it. Right. And then a friend of mine lent me a book. Mm. Lend me a book on raw food, living cuisine, raw food. And I, I read the book. It was a small read. Uh, mm-hmm. There was a recipes and then a story of a family with all various illnesses they had. And then, you know, it just disappeared. And I went like, well, Katerina and her name was Katerina. Wow. Katerina <laughs> gave me that book. So, you know, and, and I dearly love her. She's such a knowledgeable uh, person in her field. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I read the book. And the next morning, I just said to myself, I'll do that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, 
we are funny beings, actually, in a sense that everyone knows that we our gut, our gut kind of go, yes, yes. but our mind kind of go, ah, mm. I, I don't know. Well, what I did is I just listened to my gut. I didn't listen to my, my, my gut brain. I didn't listen to my brain brain. Like I said, (laughs) I have a gut brain, a heart brain and a brain brain. That one is to the service of the other two. Not, not. So I I didn't listen to my brain brain and I did it. Mm. And in three months it disappeared and never came back. Mm. So my hands on my hands of 18 years ago, I, I can lift 50 pound boxes. I mean, I'm not weak one bit. And if every, all the incapacity just yes. vanished. My skin, I mean, it was uh, cracking and bleeding here. It was so bad. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's perfect now. Floaters in my vision. The weight. So now my weight is just stable. I'm not overweight. I'm not on the weight. Yeah. It's just my perfect weight. And I can eat whatever I want. My clothes don't change. I, yeah. I don't have a scale. I don't need to. My clothes just don't change. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, why weighing myself? And, and, and then my children, hyperactivity was gone. Rashes for them was gone. My daughter had such a bad rash. She looked like a cat used the back of her neck for a scratching post. Wow. She was scratching all the time, mm-hmm. scratching around her face. And she had a red yellow. And my uh, oldest son had an awful rash on his leg. And it was going up his genitals. And my youngest one was so hyperactive that the teacher said, put him on Ritalin. And I said, no, never do that. Yeah. So... All resolved. And my husband at the time, sleep apnea. Mm. What I'm saying is we come from nature. And if we eat as close as nature provides, Mm -hmm. we have what the body requires to keep us healthy. And I just learned, and that's recently, that's fantastic. I was thrilled to bits. We talk a lot about the microbiome. Mm -hmm. And our microbiome, in order to have a variety of the little microbes in there that keeps us healthy, yeah. we need to eat a variety of food. But the mm-hmm. food is fiber. Yes. So, so that's what I eat. Nuts and seeds and fruits and veg and legumes. Mm-hmm. And that explains, it was like, oh my gosh, I was explaining it differently. I said, the right. food is alive because it's not cooked. It has the enzymes. Yes, it does. But it has all the fibers that are needed for the microbes. Plus, mm-hmm. when you eat vegan living cuisine, raw cuisine, you eat a variety of food. Mm-hmm. And you, you, I mean, I'm sure our, your audience can look just for a second. And most of us, we do a salad, it'd be lettuce, carrots. Tomatoes, cucumber, radishes, it kind of stops there. Limited, yes. Yeah. But when we eat living cuisine, all the color of the rainbow, mm-hmm. I mean, I where do I go when I go grocery shopping? I just go on the produce aisle, the seasoning mm-hmm. aisle, and I'm out. Mm-hmm. So, I'm, you know, I'm, so I'm grabbing, I, I look and I go, oh my gosh, look at that Swiss chard, it's gorgeous today. Oh, the radicchio, oh, the endives. So I take all sorts of things that usually we might not. And when there is something new, Chinese radish, yay, I'll try this, you know? (laughs) So we feed feed various microbes. And in doing that, the the microbes create the short-chain fatty acids. And those short-chain fatty acids are responsible Mm -hmm. to keep our entire body healthy. And we have a microbiome in our gut. We have it in our head, in our heart, in our lungs, we, in our liver. We have it everywhere. So that's why we need a variety. And, and if we don't feed some, they go to sleep. They can't perform. You know, it, yeah. and then, so what happens is you start to not feel so well or not. And that explains all my energy as well. Why do I have so much energy? I'm mm-hmm. 63. Yeah. And, 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 but there you go. I mean, that's, the body is really designed to be healthy and to be full of energy and perform. The nat- nature gives us all that, but we, we, the fuel that we give it, like, you know, I said, you don't water your, ga- your car and gas up your plants. Yes. But yet we, we put things in our body and go, ah, that's okay. But mm. no, maybe not. And maybe not in the sense that if you don't have energy, if you mm. have aching, aching pains, it's because something is not working well. 
Like I said, at 63, I get up in the morning, I'm out of bed. I don't need to kind of warm up and kind of, oh, you know, 63, oh, I'm aching. No, I'm not. I'm just out. I'm good to go. Like, you know, first foot on the floor and I'm up, I'm up, I'm ready to go. It's remarkable. And it's food on our plate. Yes. It's not like I'm saying to you, go get that fancy powder in a, in a pouch and put what, whatever. <laughs> no, it's food that you put every day on your plate, different food. Yes. So eat. And, and I started doing that, Katrina. I started to put recipes on my Facebook so mm -hmm. that people, they don't need, they just need a knife. I like very simple tools, mm -hmm. uh, you know, grease, elbow grease, and I salad like like a variety of of and the nuts and the seeds and also all the vegetables and and then there's a fruit salad and so mm -hmm. it's it's there so if they can't do it they can start right away and i always say to people you know you, you look at this and you go ah oh, i don't know start with breakfast only yes and then do lunch only mm -hmm. so add to your repertoire and eventually you'll go like oh wow are you eating now 60 percent vegetables uh, like the fiber the example and the short the um the resistant starch so mm -hmm. important so that's all the legumes the legumes are the cheapest thing to buy right. not in a can don't buy those you need to buy them you know in the bulk section the dry the dry ones and you soak them so you can and then when you sprout mm -hmm. it's activated it's now a plant if you don't soak it, it, no, that's not good. You really need to soak. It's okay. so simple. Overnight mm -hmm. on your counter, you just soak. And, and that mm -hmm. too, I, I mean, I have posts on, on how to sprout. Everything is easy. And once you start, oh my gosh, I teach people mm -hmm. how to organize their fridge. So you go to your grocery shopping, you come home, you wash your vegetables. And, it, and then what you do is you prepare a dish of uh, shredded carrot, shredded mm -hmm. beet, shredded cabbage. You have them ready. So when you're ready to eat, you grab those dishes and you put pop, 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 pop together and then you have a salad. Yes. Because people will say, oh, it takes so much time. Yes, it does if you do it a tiny bit at a time. But you mm -hmm. do for three days, you have it and then you, you eat it. I mean, I, it's, it doesn't it's like, take that much time, does it? No, it doesn't. No. Yeah. And the beauty, like I said, with my three children, when I started eating this way, I didn't have two hours to make food. Yes. So I had to come up and I did. And I'm sharing all those tricks. How to, how to, so my, and then once you have all those things in your fridge, let's say you have your family at home, you have your partner at home. Well, you can say, while I do this, grab the bowls, put them on the table. And then, you know, you can assemble your own salad. You can mm -hmm. assemble your own food the way you want it with your, you know, with the, the, the salsa that you want or the hummus that you want or the, because at the table, sometimes, you know, one say, oh, no, I don't want this again. I don't like it. Well, <laughs> there's something else that they like. They, they, they assemble their own plate. Yes, yes. And then it slows down to what it does is family stays longer at the table, right? Mm -hmm. Because now it's not like dinner is ready. Yeah. They come, they eat five minutes, go on. So no, no, they, they assemble their own. So it takes some time. So you find out about their day. Oh, <laughs> I love oh. It. <laughs> it's remarkable. And the color. Mm, the color, the yeah. Color. I mean, yeah. that alone, like the joy, you, you can feel those joy bubbles inside. Mm. And that too is part of that. So when you eat fresh food, colorful, food that has um, a, a darker color, more polyphenols, mm -hmm. you have the serotonin that mm. makes you happy. It's the happy hormone. So that's yes. why I know I get comments on my Facebook. You smile all the time. I said, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> because I, I mean, I have all to smile about. I'm healthy. And then I eat that food that is gorgeous that's and it. beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, it's just remarkable. And it's not hard. How do you do this for 18 years? I wouldn't do it any other way. Yes, yes. Once, you, once, you know, once I found out how to put the things together, and that's what I'm teaching. Mm. I, uh, you know, and why, why, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not sick. Why, why change anything? <laughs> yes. I mean, your passion is so clear for this yes. and, and we can see the effect that it yes. has on you and what you said for your family as well, your children and how much you inspired your, your own surroundings and yes. then took this a step further. So what do you think is the best way to, um, to share this and influence people is it 
like this, what you're sharing here, is it education? I know you build a course around yes. this. So tell us how, how you're going to now. Um, I mean, I'm so happy to share the news as well. And, and hopefully we'll get more people to hear about it. And just, as you said, just try it. Just have a go like for a week and see how you feel, see the difference. Um, exactly. And what you do, how you inspire is just... Uh, those images of the food that you do and videos are, are so beautiful. It, like if that doesn't inspire people, I don't know what yeah. will get them into it. Yeah, as you said, we eat with our eyes. So when it's gorgeous and beautiful, it's, and also, okay. so th there's two things you just said. When I teach, yes, I have my online courses. My online courses, I use a scale. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some parts of the world, they use cups, but there it is. I had a cafe for eight years. In mm -hmm. a restaurant setting, you don't use cups. You have to have it precise. Why? Because your customer come back and want to have the same delicious thing they had before. Mm -hmm. If you don't have it weighing using grams, you won't get the same similar so close results. You won't. Right. So I use cups. And the beauty of that, people in their home, when they do the recipe, they go, I like it, but I would like it better a little bit. So you, you tweak the mm -hmm. recipe for your own taste buds mm -hmm. or your own children or a partner in the family yeah. so that they love it. Because if they love it, what does it matter if it's cooked or it's not? Mm -hmm. When it's delicious, you want yeah. to have more. Yes. So that's very important. That part is very important. Mm. And you'll see in my recipe is so quick then because you put a bowl on the scale and you go, I need 200 grams of bell pepper, 150 grams of celery, 20 grams of onion. So you put the pieces whole. And then after that, if you have to cut, you cut. Or if you have to blend, you blend. But mm. you're not cut, 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 check the cup. Cut, 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 check. The, you yeah. know, you don't have to check how high your cup goes every time. So it's super easy. So there is that. Then there is your why. Mm. So why would you do something like this? Are you in pain? Do you want to just get rid of the pain? Mm -hmm. That's your why. Do you want to have your children not be in pain? You know, children, mm. we eat so much, hear so many of hyperactivity, uh, problem with weight, acne, uh, or skin issues, mm -hmm. um, and that is the food. So yeah. is that why strong enough yeah. that when your child comes around and go, oh, mom, I really would want to have my macaroni and cheese, mm. that you can sit down with them and say, how can, come with me in the kitchen. Let's do something together that you will really enjoy. And I promise you, I can serve this to you every day because that's the other thing. Yes. Parents, parents and us people say, I was asked too. Oh, so you have 50, 60, 20, however many different recipes. And I said, you know what? You know that, look at your home. How many recipes you do every week, mm -hmm. each week, yeah. each month, all year? We have maybe 20. Yes, that, not that, that much variety. Yeah. No. So don't say, I won't take mm -hmm. this because there's no variety. You don't mm -hmm. have any variety now. Absolutely. Yeah. So just exactly like I said, just start. You love something, eat it, and then do something else and add to your repertoire. And like yeah. I said, for your for your child or your partner, if they want to eat that same, uh, there is a oh my gosh, it's so good. There is a um, uh, protein bite that I do that is so delicious. Mm -hmm. And my children, when they come, because now they're older, but when they were young, they would eat that Gaia burger in a little sleeve five times a week. And did I argue they were eating well? You know, it was like they don't, yeah, so fine, go ahead. So your why, what will find your why so strong mm -hmm. that when you open the fridge and maybe in your fridge, because in your household, you have someone else that eat differently, you have that um, fast food, ready to eat food into a container. And then next to it, you have your, what you need to assemble your Gaia burger. The yeah. fast food takes you a second to grab and, you know, well, you have to warm up usually, or you take three minutes and you assemble your burger. Yeah. So, you know, okay, if I take the fast food, I might hurt again because now my arthritis is gonna come back. 
my diabetes is going to come back, my blood pressure is going to go up, or I eat this and I feel better and better and better. Yes. So you why? Mm-hmm. The other thing that is so important is, and that is something I learned with time. I wish I would have been wiser at first, but I wasn't. <laughs> is the people around you. They, they, won't, they might not understand. Mm-hmm. So for me, they did not understand. Right. My, uh, on my husband at the time, side of the family, they just did not understand. Got it. Uh-huh. So they were concerned for my children to not have the proper nutrients to grow, to, 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 because they were teenagers or preteen, to grow. They were concerned about their teeth, their eyes, their you know, growing in height and strong and all that. They were concerned for their brother, uh, because my husband then at the time lost the excess weight. Yes. So he became, you know, he was, let's see, 45, 50. He came back to be the same uh, same body shape as when he was in his 20s. Right. And yeah. It was remarkable and he was muscular and all that. But they found that, oh, my gosh, he's too skinny now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they were concerned. So I, like I said at the time, not knowing enough, I didn't reassure them and say, Give us three months. Give us six months. Mm -hmm. We don't mean to offend you. We don't mean to say that what you're doing is wrong. We don't mean to say that. Just give us the time to show you. Because I did it six months myself alone. So already you could see all the things resolve in my health. So it was give me that time and I'll show you. My youngest is not going to have, you know, hyperactivity and rushes for my children and sleep at night for my husband. You know, give us six months. I did not know to do that. So it's not that you ask permission, Mm -hmm. but you ask them to just wait and see, Mm -hmm. you know, and not not try to push something down your throat that you should not be having. And that means, I mean, like it meant for me going to gathering. Mm-hmm. birthday party, Easter, Christmas, Mother's Day. They were, they all they still, of course, are amazing cooks. Yes. And men alike, like it's not just women. They're all fantastic at cooking. So mm-hmm. it was hard for them for me to come and then with my children, because I brought our food, to not eat their food. Right. So I don't mean to offend you. I'm on a journey here. And so far I have results. Please support me. So that's a big one. And, mm-hmm. and it's, it's almost like, you know, when mm-hmm. someone who is in a family where they don't eat vegan, they eat the omnivores. It's like the same as religion. Don't don't talk religion because you don't have the same religion. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, the, <laughs> you know, it's, it's their omnivore is their religion. Vegan is my religion. Yes, so yes. let's talk about religion. Mm-hmm. And it, truly it is. So let's just enjoy our presence yeah. together our gathering as a family mm-hmm. and then yeah so the, they are those three very important you yeah. know follow yeah. the recipes follow the recipes too that i put on my facebook don't say i'm just gonna ah, i'm just gonna put things together i had a friend like that she goes oh you know i told i just put things together and then my children would say oh no 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 i had that the last time i don't want it now and then the mother says no it's a different recipe this time but it's not any better Right. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the child don't want it. Mm-hmm. So don't do that. Follow the recipe. Find your why and ask people around you. Yeah. So, you know, like your friends say, oh, come on, let's come to the restaurant with me. And then where they go, there's nothing for them. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Don't, 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 do, don't do that to your friend that is in that journey of healing. Yes. And don't do that to, and, and you, you know, don't fall in, in a sense. Yeah, don't that, put yourself say, in that. Yeah, say, 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 you know what? Let's go for a walk. We won't go to the restaurant. Let's go for a walk instead. Let's go for a swim. Let's yeah. go for a bicycle ride, but not the restaurant because mm-hmm. that's, that's where, you know, the, it hurts. Yeah. 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 That's a beautiful point as well, because we can enjoy other uh, activities together, perhaps, and leave that one, because we need to respect if somebody is especially on a healing journey, like this is the health they're prioritizing. So we shouldn't make them have to choose between, you know, some of our choices and their choices. Yeah, very yeah. important points yeah and let me tell you something as well like some might be concerned the ones who have children 
So mm -hmm. my children, of course, I made, you know, they had their birthday party with all their friends coming to my home. And the children were thrilled to bits to have the food. And of course, I did food that I wouldn't know would like, like my children liked. So I did right. the same. There were a variety of desserts, all healthy. There mm -hmm. were a variety of, uh, you know, there were pizza and burgers and all healthy. Yes. So they loved it. They love, and actually, you know, if there was a play date, it was like, can I go to your house, mm -hmm. Sam, or Christelle, or Nick, instead of mine going to theirs? Because yeah. the children enjoy the food. So it's not mm -hmm. an issue. You won't, you won't mm -hmm. have children going like, oh, it's not an issue. You can do amazing smoothies, amazing mm -hmm. desserts, amazing yeah. granola bars, or they will love it. Don't worry about this. Now, when mm -hmm. your child goes to a birthday party, it's a question of, talking to the parents and yes. explaining that if again same, same thing, thing as I did for friends and family same thing yeah. with that parent yeah. please support my child because otherwise you know it's 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 mm -hmm. I mean you don't impose you don't uh, you support I should say you mm -hmm. support a two and a four and a six year old to do it right rather than you know yes. saying oh that's okay mom isn't there you can eat that stuff yeah don't mm -hmm. do that <laughs> <laughs> completely agree with you yes and uh, behind you i don't know if it's a dessert yes. or uh whatever it is it looks very appetizing doesn't it <laughs> yeah and you know this is a lucuma parfait and mm -hmm. it's a dessert it's a breakfast so when you think about breakfast what people do at breakfast they will eat a cereal mm -hmm. it would have nuts uh it has some sort of sweetener and uh, fruits Mm -hmm. But in that dessert, you have the, the walnuts, mm -hmm. you have the dates as a sweetener. Oh, I'll talk about sugar in a second. Okay. You have dates as sweetener, you have the raspberry and dates. That's what creates the, the, the red, the, the, yes. the fuchsia part there that is so, oh, it looks so yummy. yummy. And, yes. and then the lucuma. Lucuma is a fruit from Peru and they make a powder and you can make a, a cream with that. Good. And banana. So that, mm -hmm. so you can have that for, for, for breakfast. Mm -hmm. The other thing that is so important for our health, and, and if anything, if people do that now, mm -hmm. I know that we became so busy that we resort a lot to go to the grocery and buy things off the shelves. Yes. Unfortunately, if it's sweetened, which many products mm -hmm. are, yeah. it's sweetened with refined sugar. Yep. And... The difference between, and I sweeten all my recipes are with dates. A date will have carbohydrate, fiber, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, um, and uh, protein. Mm -hmm. Sugar, one thing, carbohydrate, that's all. That's it. So what happens with that as well is when you eat sweetened with dates, the body absorbs it slowly because it has all those other elements in it. So yes. it travels slowly in your body. When you eat sugar, it goes bang and spikes your insulin. Yes. And so it's bad for the body. It's bad for the microbe too. It, they don't mm. like it. No. So our microbiome doesn't like it. At my cafe, diabetic people that were diabetic loved it because they could have their dessert. Right. It wasn't changing a thing for the insulin. Mm -hmm. And that's simple as that. I just talked about children. You know, children, yes. we know, and, and, and teachers will say, oh, my gosh, those kids, you know, when we have the, the they have special days with special lunches, and maybe mm -hmm. they get those donuts covered with glaze with, they say, yes. oh, they're so impossible to handle. It's not the child, it's the food. Yes. Parents at home, you know, oh my gosh, I mean, I, I, I can't deal with that child in the evening. Well, what did they have for dessert? Yeah. What did they have? You know, what did they, so yeah, after a meal, usually it's like, you know, that's when they come. Yes. They're nuts. All it's connected. Yeah. So if they can, if 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 we can just now today, the very first thing, get that refined sugar out. Mm -hmm. Yes, that means that you'll be doing more at home because they again. There's just not that much out in the shelves, unfortunately. And sugar comes under 150 different names. Mm -hmm. I will find those names. So I will post that one day so people can refer to. 
but <laughs> you use some of the sugar, even yes. the, the, the one wada, the elentra or the, the, the fake sugar, it's the mm. same. Yeah. Uh, but it, yeah. it's, yeah. So don't, if you see that, you buy a can of tomato to mm -hmm. make your spaghetti sauce. Let's yeah. say you do that, you don't use fresh tomatoes, there's sugar. Yeah. It, it's a hidden ingredient in so many things, isn't it? So it's, many things. And it, it, it's just, really read and, the link. and now with what's happening with this pandemic thing, mm -hmm. it doesn't help one bit to keep. No. And there, there you go. So if your microbiome is healthy, yes. your natural immunity is up. Absolutely. Is that it's max, you won't get sick. Yes. I mean, now it's, it's COVID, but when I had my, all those years I had my cafe, Mm -hmm. 18 years actually since I started eating this way I haven't been sick one day not one day not a sniffle not a sour throat nothing mm -hmm. and at my cafe you know customers will come and I either just love people so you know if they come often enough I would give them a hug on the yeah. way in and on the way out wow. that was a, a ritual at my place yes. and they would say oh no 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 I'm sick I say, oh come on just come over yeah. I gave hugs to everybody. So your natural immunity is up. So if you're concerned yeah. about what's going on and, and, and well, there you go, feed yourself mm -hmm. well and you'll be well. Yeah. Yeah. Need to prioritize the health. That is the underlining message here. And for all ages, and we don't perhaps need to wait until we need healing from something. You know, we can we can start introducing this as you suggested, just with changing one meal in your day, and then you will notice the difference, and you will naturally want to go deeper and more. Um, and saying that, um, what do you think is the best way to where shall we point people to get in touch with you? Because I want everyone who sees this to definitely connect with you and to have a look peep into your colorful and energy full world. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Katarina. So I have my website, mm -hmm. which is uh, healing vegan cuisine. Dot com mm -hmm. um, and I will yeah give you the link for my classes my online that, classes yeah. you can find it on my website on the home page but there's also a link specifically to it uh, and on my website because I live in Vancouver and mm -hmm. so I also make meals for people in Vancouver so you can see all the food that I make and all the beautiful photo when mm -hmm. you go into the shop section now right. that being said, Someone who, and, and there they, they will be people listening to this now that maybe have an interest for themselves, but as well as to make it a business. Right. It's the easiest right. thing to do, start at home. Mm -hmm. What I did, I had to close my cafe. So now I work from home. Super easy. Because when you do living cuisine, you don't need a stove. Yes. So you <laughs> You just with blenders. I didn't think processor, of that. Yes, that's and amazing. the hydrator, and that—that's yeah. it. Simple, simple. Mm -hmm. So people can then take my recipes, mm -hmm. and 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 then I will have a course specifically for them too. But for now, they can absolutely, and then create their own. So they start eating this way. Then yes. friends go, "Oh my gosh, your skin, you glow. Your eyes are so bright. Oh, you so have so in so much energy. <laughs> what do you do?" Yes. And then you tell them about my course or that person says, I really don't have the time. Well, you can start making food for them. Mm -hmm. So it could be something mm -hmm. that you do from home because now people, some are losing their work. Yes. Some are stuck at home. So, you know, whatever goes on. So you could do it this way. Mm -hmm. And then they come pick up at your home or you deliver yourself, you know, find a way. But yeah, no, it does. I mean, eating this way, Mm -hmm. does create this other people around you going like oh my gosh yeah. like I have, wow. I have friends they haven't seen me for years mm -hmm. and when they when that happens you have an age mm -hmm. what's going on yes. I, look at me I've got wrinkles and you don't what do yeah. you do <laughs> You know, it's, I don't have to it's say a anything. secret weapon to, for an answer for everything, isn't it? It's what, what <laughs> we put in this body. Yes. Yeah, yeah you de-age. And literally, because your body is not put, it puts under so much effort. 
Yes. It doesn't age as fast. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, it makes so much sense. I, I really hope that people hear that last part. Um, and it, it's not for vanity's sake, it's for the sake of vitality, for yes. your energy, for, because your body is designed to carry you healthy till the end of your life, till exactly. the end of your natural life. So yes. you don't want to speed it up and get sick and, and, and get, um, you know, unable to use your body in the way you used to use yes. it and, and to enjoy outdoors and to enjoy with younger generations activities, right? Yes. It makes yes. so much sense, doesn't yes. it? And as you said, you know, when we get older and now people live in their 90s, yes. up 90s, I mean, mm. they live quite yes. much older. Yes. But if you've got Alzheimer, Parkinson, you, no you have a hard time to walk, you're no. all crunched, crunched over, what's that? It's not fun. It's not fun, is it? No, but then if you have energy and, and, and you know, and then you have your grandchildren or children around or neighbor's children, I mean, you become the grandparents, but then you go. I mean, you, you know, you're alert. My mother, um, she passed at 93. She mm -hmm. ate well all her life. And then she lived in Quebec. So she came to Vancouver to be with me for the winter. Right. So the, for the last 20 years of our life, she mm -hmm. was with me six to eight months a year, anything what I made, because right. that's, what, yes. you know, that's yes. what I was making. So that's what she was eating. She was 93 years old in the snow in Quebec, pushing a walker, kicking the wheels out the snow. And she went for walks for hours. Yes. So, there you go. That's to tell you. you probably extended her lifetime, right? Absolutely. With, and then yeah. she passed, mm -hmm. but she didn't pass like, I can't walk anymore. I can't move yeah. anymore. I'm making, you know, she, no, she was, yeah, she had full of energy. So that's what you see. Oh, and that's brilliant what you're saying there, Katrina. You make me think of something. So when you eat this way, you <laughs> build a wealth of health. Yes. And you yes. cannot buy that. No. It's not it's not in the store mm -hmm. in the sense of the i pay and i get yes you buy and you make yourself and you get <laughs> yes. yes 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 lovely there is a saying in in um, in my language in with my people from from serbia that uh, health is the the biggest wealth um and and really truly is um, per perhaps we have found the title for this <laughs> for this yes. episode there because it really does it is that is it put in simplest simplest terms um, yes. and it, it's so so inspiring so dear friends take note um, yes. take note of dear Agat here and she's sharing generously so much information and once you get into it I'm sure you will want to explore more uh, and uh, I just want to ask you one more thing. Uh, is it, how easy is it nowadays to get all of the ingredients? Because when we walk in the supermarkets, perhaps we don't recognize the, the healthier choices for us. So if you tell us that, like, where should we look? Okay, so on uh, my courses, and actually I should put that list on my Facebook as well. It, 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 I have a list of all the ingredients that I use to make the recipe for the online course. Right. And even, yes, you know, for desserts, I will have the lucuma and the mesquite powder online. Mm -hmm. If you don't find, right. I mean, oh. they are easier to find, but right. if not, online is easy. And Vegetable. then after that, it, it's, you know, the vegetables and all that at home. So if I say, uh, use radicchio, you don't have radicchio, but it's a bitter lettuce type of thing. Right. Well, at home, what you have that it would be the equivalent, you use that. Right. And I'd be thrilled to have questions and, and actually research. Mm -hmm. You know, someone says, I don't have fennel. Well, yeah. but I have this. Can I use that? Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, absolutely. So it's very simple, actually, because, yeah, it's not, I'm not using really exotic type of things that are hard to get. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. if you live in a place where you have, certain uh, ingredients that I don't have in my recipes, you can switch 
Right. Just send me an email and I'll tell you, oh yeah, I think that would work. There's mm -hmm. a question of the texture and, the, and, and how much uh, moisture and, but you, yes. you email me. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, that's a great, great invitation. And uh, it's given me so many ideas, uh, this conversation with you. And I find it so helpful. And I want to thank you for spending time with us today, sharing these uh, wonderful gems because this is so important for all of us and i can see that you are creating a movement here uh, because uh, th the more people hear the message the more people incorporate this way of living to the better they will connect with people they love and with everyone else yes um, I, oh, yes. I can't thank you enough for oh, coming thank you and one last one last little bit Absolutely. not only we become healthy Mm -hmm. We create a future for our children because they are healthy. Yes. They yes. are starting in life with issues that, you know, will carry on in their adulthood. Hello, so we're creating a future for them. But eating this way, you create next to no waste. Mm -hmm. But when I had my cafe, sustainable 10, as well. Less than 10% of our waste were waste, like garbage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The rest was, of course, we, what is it? Organic. We compost. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We compost and then recycle. We come in carbon boxes mm -hmm. and whatnot. You go to the grocery with your grocery bags. You take like next to no, you know, your footprint is so, so light yes. that our planet, just as I, if we feed our microbiome properly, we can kick back and be healthy. Like I got rid of the arthritis. Our planet, just has to heal yes can yeah. heal we and so we take care of her as we take care of us it's beautiful beautiful point beautiful thank you uh, for sharing that and oh my goodness that that's a really beautiful message that uh, it, it, it literally is there is no negative side to it there is no downside to it uh, is just all positive uh, and we we wish everybody well on their healing journey and we wish everyone to live healthy and to live absolutely the longest possible life and to enjoy it for the rest of their days thank you yes. thank you katarina it was wonderful i love being with you <laughs> love we'll do that again <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness i i don't i <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that I really hope you will be back. And I was, yes. I, I, I was so involved that that was like unsaid, but it was there in my head. Uh, I would absolutely. Me too. I want to be up. back. <laughs> yes, yes. I feel you. I feel you. I felt you from the first moment I, I saw you. Um, it, it just that, you know, recognizing this. So thank you. Uh, thank do, you. Hello, now we're making a cake that is only chocolate. Chocolate crust, chocolate filling, it's to die for. It's called the ganache and uh, it's, it's just absolutely delicious and decadent and it's wonderful to eat and so simple to do. <laughs> just two steps really. So should we start? Look at this beautiful, beautiful cake. Let's start. So we use our food processor and the food processor from Breville is awesome because here you have a 16 cup, but inside you have a four cups. So that, you know, they, you know, you can then make a big batch of whatever, but then a small batch too, when you want to make dessert that is so decadent, you cannot make, you know, 16 cups of that. Oh, well, that's well, maybe if you have 40 people coming. So let's start. We're going to put our scale to zero and we add 50 grams of the shredded coconut. I have 56, I'm gonna reach inside, and get a little bit out. There you go, 52 is good. And then we have 37 gram of pitted dates, so 87. 86, that's awesome. And we have 13 grams of cacao. That brings us to, oh, 87, 13, yeah, would bring us to 100, of course. And there we are. Mm -hmm. 
There. Just gonna, there. The powder is gonna get off the top. We'll mix to break the, the dates. And to that, like the, the, the dates are now, I'll show you. Yeah, see the dates are all broken up. So now we're going to add a little bit of water so it can stick together. Let's see what we've got. That's beautiful. I added one tablespoon of water. And we use our spring form. It's important that when you assemble your spring form, the lip, instead of being up, is down. Because it's easier to take the cake out. It's a cake that we press down, so the lip would be in the way of taking it out, so that way you can slide the cake off kind of thing. And then, let's take that crust out. So I added some water just so that it would bind together, be a little wet, but not too wet. There. And Reveal also has that wonderful little tool that came with the uh, unit. It's awesome. I'm just gonna stop this from flashing. See, you can press it down. It's, it's just marvelous, it's so easy. And the next step is the filling. It's as simple as that. Like I said, two steps. Super easy. So we put our blender jar on. To that, we add 168. I'm just going to grab my spatula here. 168 of date syrup, which is simply the same. Date syrup is the same weight of water and date that you mix. 150. Oh yeah, a little over, there you go, 70 is good, 170, and then to that we add coconut oil, and we need 60 grams brings us to 228, 228, I'm over a little, that's fine, and cashews, 468, Yes. How many grams of cashews? Uh, oh, cashews, sorry. It's two, uh, cashews are 240 grams, which brings us to 468. Thanks, Dominique. That would be a big cake. <laughs> and then we need to add one tablespoon of lemon juice. Oops, I was a little shy on my tablespoon. And one tablespoon of water. And then we add a pinch of vanilla powder. If you don't have the powder, don't put the extract. It's really not good. A pinch of salt. And I put the lid on and blend. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, nice and creamy. And now the very last step, we add the cacao powder. Very important to use raw cacao powder. The roasted one, it's so bitter, it's so hard to make it taste good. You have to add so much sugar, but then you only taste sweet, you only taste sugar. 48 grams. 
not this one. So Dominique was pointing out to me that we did recipes before and we used a smaller uh, jar, which I don't have one around now, but, uh, and I had to use a chopstick to start it going with the, the, co the, the cacao powder and the cashew mixture. This one is a larger base. I don't have to do that. So that's why I can go ahead. There we are. Oh, look at this. Like, look beautiful. <laughs> it's so yummy. Just want to fall into it. <laughs> Swim in the chocolate mousse. And it simply goes in. I'm telling you, this is the easiest thing ever. Now, you've seen us working with different flavors as well with other recipes like lucuma and mesquite. And so you can do the same. You can do a whole cake, lucuma, it's quite lovely, or, or mesquite, or acai. Uh, it's just so, so good. And I'm telling you, you don't tell whoever comes and that it's a raw cake, they'll think it's a, it's a cheesecake. It's really the, the, the cheese, cheesecake texture. There we are, a little trick with our chopstick as we did so far, so lovingly. And there, as easy as that, enjoy. Mm -hmm.